What's up guys, it's Terno here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Fiora. Let's start with the last blade. I'll be playing against Theoric and start with Q first. So I'm using these new runes with Grass of Undying that grants nice amount of sustainable lane and also mana flow band so that when you cast Q you get your mana pool increased and it really helps later in the game. So let's get to her skill explanation. On passive there is vital, it appears on enemy on one of four sides and breaking the vital grants Fiora a nice burst of movement speed, heals her and deals true damage to enemy champion. The vitals appear randomly and so on landing phase you just want to TS Y, breaking these vitals just I'm just waiting till I get it on my side like this and that's a nice trait. When you successfully land your Q on enemy champion then the cooldown is refunded by 60% so that's good for chasing. And yeah so Breaking Vital rewards your aggressive play style because you get healed. Now that's. That's an easy kill. So, uh, as you could see with my E, for the next two basic attacks, the auto attack range is increased and the first attack slows, the second critical strikes. So, most important thing about this ability is that you can reset your auto, so right after casting your auto attack, you use E, and that makes a difference in your damage potential. And her W, so W blocks any incoming damage in the target direction, cannot block turret damage, that's the only thing. And right after using W, you gain immunity to crowd control and the buffs for 0.75 seconds. So keep in mind, you can also use Q like I did to help yourself in last hitting, also resetting E like this. Right now I don't have to push. I'm fine with that Illy advantage. Especially because it's a good spot for me because Aumu might be trying to do something on top and he's not able to for now. I saw I'm just not pushing. That's hitting. He's forced to play a bit out of position, but my jungler is bot side, he was shown there, so maybe that's the reason why. And Vital appeared, doesn't follow me, so I use that. And Fiora excels in short duels, so like I do, I just break the Vital with Q, Use my E. I'm still taking so much damage. Soon I'll have to back. Actually, let's back, why not? It's early in the game, so even if he put this wave, he won't deal much to the turret. And I have enough for Tiamat. Let's go with Tiamat and Boots and Control Ward. And after getting this item, you want to trade build into Trinity Force. So now with Tiamat, you can combine that with your E. It really helps in speed pushing with Fiora. Wait, so Lee is coming, I think. I just wait if he finish this Scuttler. Now there is ultimate, so after using ultimate on enemy, or vitals appear at the same time, you get a nice movement speed. 
buff so you can break this vitals easy. I'm just pretending like nothing is happening right now, but he had the pinks coming, he knows. Alright, so I just wait there. Wait, there's awards. That means the jungler is there. Usually you can help yourself by doing auto attack than E to take down world faster. Because there were six, I have to respect that. I just wait for him to push the wave toward me. And I'm fine again. Yeah. So you see I just use auto and then TM attractive and I can combine it with E later. Vital appeared, so I broke it and that's a nice verse. Wait, he is using ignite on me. I have to flash. Okay, I'm alive, nice. All I could do, close to, like, for a moment I thought that he won't make it in time, but still well for me. I expected Tamumu to be honest, but it seems he is on the river. Let's start building Trinity Force with Shin. That will help me in these short duels. And it depends. Sometimes I go Ninja Tabi first after Tiamat. Because it's good for most matchups on top. It really makes a difference with that 10%. And some more. more. But yeah. Vital appears. Uh, nice. Just look at the damage, that was crazy. And he's forced to stay away at least. So it's a little bit harder for me now, because I have this Yamat, so it's not helping me in freezing. But that's still fine. Alright, and then E is your ability that you want to max second. I don't have to greet, but now he wasted his skill. Should I dive? Probably not. Especially because he's 0-2, so why would I risk? If I'm 2-0, I'm risking getting shut down and granting him free gold. So at this point it's better to zone him. I just wait till the wave comes toward me. I have nothing to do. And I'm using Ignite because teleport is weak right now. It's actually better for Fiora because she can have a uh, better healing potential. Okay, he had flash actually. I will keep back, I don't really have to push. Because even if I push, mid lane is pushed as well, so I won't take away from that. Maybe, maybe I just take red buff. Let's see if I can. Or actually, he's back. Wait, he misplayed hard now. Yeah, keep in mind to use that Yamat active. Sometimes you can finish off enemies like I did. Okay, so now keep in mind you have Shin, you proc it like I do Iris ability. About W depends because Echo is missing. I'm still having that W up. We're just using Q and E to proc. 
and that should be the first to that. Yeah, nice, and good time to back. Now let's go Phage, to help me in chasing enemies. And actually I just wait for a short amount of time for boots. Ninja Tabby should be good, even though they have a lot of CC, I still have my W. I think Tabby is good there. Alright, so I use Q, you see I have my Kuna reduce, even though I'm fighting in huge minion wave, no point using Ignite or something because finish him off like that. And I need to pressure top now because my team is not doing that well. Okay, bot is winning, but still they didn't take turret down yet. That's okay, I took it just to have the wave pushed a bit faster. Let's see if they have blue buff. Nope. So I just go mid right now. And hope that Echo is not there. Could be that he re yeah, he's roaming bot. But I follow, I think they are fine. I just either pressure him to return on mid or take the turret. Nice. And now I can rock it with W. Great. Now I'm so ahead I actually want to do Herald with my jungler. Chat, just he's not on my side yet. And let's take him down. I had to actually use flash. No point wasting ignite. Should I stay? I just take this wave and back. Yeah, Mumu is coming and Echo is missing better back. Because I'm worth so much gold. Alright, Trinity Force is ready. Now time to finish off my Yamat to Hijra. Let's take this free gold. There's a Leko and Bot, I think. Yeah. I don't even have to help my teammates just in focusing on these objectives. Not able to take it yet. Yeah, so I just returned to top lane. There's a huge wave. Don't want on that code to be wasted. I have so much sassing I can just hear in the wave. And I pink my jungler. Let's do this herald. I leave ward here, no vision, I'm stopping that. In case something happens I just get away by using the wall. And what's he doing?
Alright, then I do it myself. Uh, I think that he had some kind of luck. Taking her out for fast recall. And now part of the next item, Strax Cage. I try to help my team on the track. Not sure if I'll be in time. But we can fully engage because I'm so fat. So yeah. Okay. Pretending that I recalled, so that I will get a bit confused. Now that's problematic for them. Okay, should have used my W. Thus I didn't expect her to heal. Alright, and back to pressuring top. So they lane swapped. Now I should be able to take down. Stop. An enemy has been slain. Almost. Another free objective. You don't have to make crazy plays with your adjust. It's good. A good split pusher and that's the way you should do to the game. So that mana flow burn 3 makes a difference when mana pool and I like it. Overall you can see how good this room page is. Oh, 
around. I need more than one to stop me. And Yorick is scared. too much she will die yeah I knew that let's see how is the situation can go for Nexus race already can we end all no. okay so thank you guys for watching hope that you learned something about Fiora leave a like subscribe and see you next time